Alright, so I thought it was finally time to talk about the hierarchy of classes and the methods inside of them. So, I'll just get rid of this for now. Don't really get rid of it. Nope. Cut. Go up here, just the upper slot, put it there. I want to call it temp. Okay, so we can go up here, we can go class, my class, and it inherits from my inheritance, obviously. And now, what happens is, this class and this class, they are the exact same, according to the computer. It, uh, it really is the exact same. It doesn't really care that, that if this has any other methods in it, like def initialize, they're still the same method. So if I had another method in this one called def method 6, right, uh, spell it right, derp. Method six. If I was to go here and go my class on method six, even though it's this class that's being made for this, this class is also a part of this class. If you understand that. So method six, method six does ex exist in this class according here. Okay. And that's the basic hierarchy of things. What happens is the lower class and the methods inside it are the ones that take priority over everything else. So even though I have initialize here, and I can go in message box and score here. Um nope. Hi, because I don't know what else to say. Message box underscore P hi. When this class starts, because this class here is below this one, even though the same even though they're the same class, and I have definitionalize in here and definitionalize there. This is the one that's going to run because this one's the one that's below it. And also, I need to put a number in here. Arguments. Okay? So, this one's not going to run because this one's below it. This one here. And that's pretty much how it's going to work. So, if I was to click OK and run it. As you saw, there was no def, there was no message box saying hi. But if I was to grab this, grab this class here, and put it below, and then play it, hi. Okay. So basically, if you have any class that's below another class, that one takes priority over the other one. So and that and that's pretty much the reason why custom scripts are always have to be below all the other default scripts because what they do is I just come into a random old class here and I just copy this and I come down here to tutorial one and I paste it here class in base and I do code go here now all of a sudden my code in this script is suddenly taking priority over scene base so that means everything that I do um, can be referenced here, right? And look, you have post start and scene changing over here, and this all still works just fine in this script because this class here is actually the exact same class as this one, which means I can use the same methods in this class in my script. Okay? So if I wanted to go definitionalize, which will override their initialize, I can go update here, and it will actually go to update in scene base, which is here and it will do that method okay and that works pretty much for every class in Ruby in general including RGSS so and that's pretty much the basics behind getting started on scripting once you know how to change the default classes around to do what you want them to do you pretty much know how to script well basically anyway so as long as you have that in mind you are very close to be able to write your first script. Alright, so I'll rephrase this again. The lowest class of this name is the one that takes the highest priority. Alright, I'll get rid of this. I don't need it. So my class here has definitionalize, which takes higher priority over this initialize. Be even though they're the same class, the exact same one according to the computer, this one takes higher priority because this one is lower than this one. And what we're doing right now is overwriting a method. And we don't really want to do that with the default scripts. Okay, because there's a lot of scripters out there, and if they have to use that method, 
and you overwrite that method then their script won't work and that's a bad thing but I'll get into how to fix that in the next tutorial for now as long as you understand that the you can create the exact same class anywhere else so I, I can literally grab this go down one level and put it there and that's the exact same class as this one except here then you know what you're doing and you're ready for the next tutorial and it won't be long now until we write our first script okay